Hello there, and welcome to Fondue's Reviews, a series I'm going to be starting on this 68 Dudes channel about my thoughts on movies, TV, and more. Today, I'm going to be talking about the recently released Netflix special and follow-up to a beloved 90s cartoon, Rocco's Modern Life, Static Queen. This special takes place 20 years after the end of the series in the 90s. As Rocco and his two friends, Heifer and Filbert, are seen flying through space and shows Rocco's love for a cartoon show, The Fat Heads. Rocco and pals have been watching the show on Nickelodeon Orange VHS tapes on repeat until they notice they're above Earth and press a button on a remote to re-enter the atmosphere, landing in the exact spot Rocco's house was in the TV show. The trio quickly realizes that things have changed since they left, and this is going to be the main theme of this special. We are treated to a montage of Rocco and his buds experiencing all of these new developments, such as how quickly new phones come out, big blockbuster superhero movies, social media, and more. Usually with Rocco ending up being attacked or maimed by whatever the experience was. At this point, with all the negative connotations surrounding this and the society around them, I was skeptical and figured this was going to be a Remember the 90s? They were so much better than today kind of message. And to my delight, it wasn't. Well, for the most part. But we'll get to that later. Anyways, after this montage, Rocco decides to watch some TV, flipping frantically through the channels and becoming distressed when he comes to find that the fat head is off the air and has been for a while now. Meanwhile, Rocco's neighbor, Ed Bighead, has made a clerical error due to a mishap during Rocco's re-entry to Earth, causing Conglomo to go bankrupt, as well as dooming the entirety of O-Town since their economy depended on Conglomo. Ed is fired from his job, and his house is scheduled for demolition within 24 hours. Rocco comes to visit Ed to ask his neighbor's son to bring back the show The Fat Heads, but discovers Ralph left home long ago to find himself. Ed and Rocco, both desperate to save O-Town and The Fat Heads respectively, hatch a plan to bring back the show for a special that could make big money for Conglomo. The two had to convince Ed's boss, Mr. Dupet, to run the special. Dupet agrees, but to the dismay of Rocco, he has the Chameleon Brothers start work on the special instead of Ralph. Rocco then resolves to find Ralph, and sets off with Heifer and Filbert to retrieve him. They travel around the world asking about him on a couch attached to a drone until it runs out of battery, and they land in the middle of the desert where they find Ralph selling ice cream. It's revealed that Ralph is transgender and is now Rachel. This is actually some great trans representation, where back in the day, this would have been treated as a joke. Rocco and friends are supportive of Ralph, and think it's awesome she found who she was. Rachel is initially dismissive of returning to make the special, but concedes when Rocco reveals that her parents will lose their house if she doesn't. Rocco and Rachel arrive at Conglomo Studios just in time, as Dupet is furious that the Fat Heads isn't working under the Chameleon Brothers. Dupet leaves the production in Ed and Rachel's hands, but Ed is having trouble consoling with the fact that he now has a daughter where he used to have a son, and refuses to work with her. Rachel drives off dejected, but resumes work on the Fat Head special after inspiration from memories of her childhood. Ed and Rocco unite on Ed's rooftop to talk about their distaste for change when the winds of change comes to tell them they should accept change, and that this is the key to finding happiness. The Winds also receives a call for Rocco from Heifer that the premiere of the special for the Fat Heads would be airing shortly. So Rocco drags Ed to see the special with him, and as it's rolling, we get to see a new family member added to the Fat Heads, a baby based on Rachel herself. As Ed watches, he's moved to tears as he finally accepts his daughter's transition. At the same time, Rocco is upset with the special because it's different than the original, and he claims it was ruined for him. However, Ed tells him that change is a part of life, and it should be embraced. The rocket that was seen launching Rocco's house into orbit then comes and carries away the Conglomo building along with Dupet, and money begins to rain from the building as it flies off, saving the town. All in all, I think this was a pretty decent special, but it's definitely not without problems. Mostly regarding the message of the special, which is to just blindly accept change no matter what. No matter if it's a good change or a bad change. Just accept it. And this is especially weird considering there is a scene in the special where it's trying to show that digital animation is a lot worse than traditional animation. So 
that's a change I guess that we're not supposed to accept, even though accepting change is the key to happiness. But, anyways, well, the movie doesn't have that many jokes. When it does tell a joke, most of the time it lands. I'm especially fond of the running gag with the mops and Rocco's dog, Spunky, because that's a callback to an older episode uh, of the series. Speaking of callbacks, there's a whole bunch of them in this movie. Heck, there's even a scene where Scoutmaster Lumpus from Joe Murray's other series, Camp Laszlo, makes a cameo. If you love the original Rocco's Modern Life and you have Netflix, I'd strongly recommend giving this special a watch. Hey everyone, Fondue here again. I'd like to thank all of you for watching this, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you like the content. Uh, I have a lot more ideas for videos uh, with Fondue's reviews. I want to make more of them. Um, there's a couple of cool ideas that I have, uh, and I know there's a couple of cool ideas that we just have for the channel in general. Um, me and a couple of my friends, we're going to be running this channel. Uh, we're going to be posting videos to this channel. I'll link their YouTubes in the uh, description. And just stay tuned because we have a lot of things planned for this channel. But again, thank you so much for watching and uh, have a wonderful rest of your day.